We just returned from a day on the water and it's time to take the two VX Deluxes off of the trailer and put them onto carts for storage. To make this easier, I had previously sprayed the plastic trailer bunks with regular automotive silicone. I also drive my truck onto a couple of automotive ramps and that aligns the trailer with the carts by lowering the rear of the trailer uh, the few inches that they normally would sit above the cart. So first step is to take your cart and to attach it to the rear of the trailer. That will keep the cart from moving as you try to slide the wave runner onto the cart. Uh, I just use regular tie down and put it through the eyes that are on the back of the trailer for tying down the back of the wave runners to the trailer. Then simply grab the wave runner, give it a good tug, and it will start sliding off rather easily. Um, initially there's a little bit of friction, but once that's broken, they slide off very easy. It's definitely a one-man job. Um, what I like to do is align the rear sponson on the wave runner. That's that plastic uh, piece in the right underneath Yamaha there with the end of the carpeted bunk on the cart itself. That seems to be a good sturdy um, centering point for the wave runner. Uh, then it's very important obviously to disconnect the uh, cart from the trailer so you're not pulling the wave runner off of the cart and then it should all roll smoothly once that's disconnected the wave runner is very difficult to move on on the cart itself unless you were to get the wheel stuck that's the cart it's a smith um, thousand pound limit wave runner is about 700 and i got that on amazon i believe i believe it was a couple hundred dollars so i'll quickly just go through the second one there so you can see it done again uh, as i mentioned it's definitely a one-man job um, I drive the truck up onto the ramps because I'm kind of lazy. It's an easy way to do it. You could also just unhitch the trailer from the truck, chalk the wheels of the trailer, and then jack it up with the trailer jack until it's even. But as I mentioned, it's it's very easy to do it. Uh, just going up automotive ramps if you have it. Also, this trailer came with the plastic on the wooden bunks. I'd prefer the carpeting. So since it's the plastic, that's why I use the silicone every time instead of using the bunk uh, lubricant that's made and that's sold out there for this purpose. Uh, that way I can clean the plastic really well before putting on the silicone and putting the wave runners on. That keeps it from scratching the hole at all. Uh, thus far, after a year, there hasn't really been any issues with the hole scratching for uh, anything that can't just wipe off or, or buff out. So. That's about it. Uh, appreciate you watching.